In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a basic mail to link. Here's an example right here. Click on this email me and it pops up a new email with a to address. I'm also gonna show you how to create a more complicated mail to link. Let's click on it again. And now we have a more complicated mail to with more stuff filled out. A to email, a carbon copy email, a blind carbon copy, a subject, and already content written into the email. This can all be defined to be whatever you want it to be. And I'm gonna show you how to do both of those in Elementor in this tutorial. This tutorial is part of the Elementor Skills playlist where you gain a solid foundation in Elementor so you can build better and bigger websites. That playlist is linked to in the description down below so make sure you check it out after you watch this video. And if you have any questions or comments about this specific video, please leave them down below. I try to answer the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And let's get started. To create a mail to link in Elementor, the first thing we have to do is go to an Elementor page and open it so we can edit it. So let's go to pages and maybe the contact page would be a great place to have a mail to link. Click on edit with Elementor. You can even put this in the header of your website. So it's in the navigation bar that appears on every page. If your website's built that way, that is also a great place to put a mail to link. And I'm just gonna add a new piece of text. Email me is going to be the text, and this is going to be what we turn into a mail to link. To turn it into a link, first of all, we have to highlight it and then click on the link right here. And then here, where we usually put a URL, we type in mail to all one word colon, and then we add an email address. So let's just add my email address right there, and then hit enter. And now this link is a mail to link, which is gonna open your email client on your desktop and start an email message to me. To show you how that works, let's click on update and let's preview our changes and let's click on the link. It's gonna open a new email in my desktop email client addressed to me. So that's the mail to link at its most basic. It adds an email address in a brand new email on your desktop. You can also add a carbon copy email address you can add a blind carbon copy email address, you can add a subject line, and you can add actual content in the body of the email and have the email really started for your customers when they click on that link. To do that, we're gonna paste in a little bit of code here. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. It might be scary to look at it first, but we're gonna dissect it and it's not too bad, trust me. We're back in the Elementor editor, click on the link we created, click on the pencil, highlight what you have there, delete it and paste in what I'm gonna show you in just a minute. We'll dissect the whole thing. First, I wanna show you how it works. Let's go back out here, click on email. And now we have our main email address, a carbon copy email address, a blind carbon copy email address. That's not a real one. These first two are real. This one's not real, doesn't matter. Either way, this is how you get them into those locations. We have a subject line and we have an email body with paragraphs, with carriage returns. And to do all this, we added a piece of code that looks like, let's just add a text editor somewhere. I want it quite large because there's a lot of text in here. Let's paste the text right there. Let's change the color so we, we can actually see it. Let's make it white. There we go. So here is the code that's required to create that full-fledged email you just saw. First, we have the mail to, like the first time, and an email address followed by a question mark. And then we have CC, and the CC equals the second email address. Then we have an ampersand, and then a BCC, which is that third email address. And then we have an ampersand. The ampersand separate different areas in the email. And then subject comes after that ampersand with an equals, and then this percent 20, is percent %20 the percent %20 subject. The percent %20s are just spaces. This is HTML characters for spaces inside of links. This will work without the percent %20 sometimes, but sometimes it won't. So to make it work all the time, you have to have a percent %20 instead of spaces. And then we have an ampersand and body equals, and then we have the body text. And this is the first sentence right up to, right up to here. 
This is how you add email body text. And then we have a percent zero capital A. And that adds a carriage return. And then we have second sentence, links via your, and then percent zero A, and then mail to link. And that's the whole thing. And you can mix and match these as you want. So if you want to have a carbon copy, keep it in there. If you don't, you can just erase this whole carbon copy section, keep the question mark, erase the carbon copy. If there's an ampersand beside the question mark, you don't want that, so delete the ampersand. Then you just have a blind carbon copy. If you don't want the blind carbon copy, take that off. Delete it all the way back to the subject. So now we have question mark, subject, it goes to a second line because just the it's just breaking because it's too long. But in your link, this would all be one line. So now we just have the subject. If you don't want to add a subject, don't add the subject. Go right to the ampersand, or back to the question mark, and now we have just the body text being input. If you don't want to add a body, erase that, erase the question mark, and we're back to our original. And I'm going to put this code, this full code right here that we see, let's get it back, the full thing, there we go. Put this full thing, I'm gonna have this in the description of this video, so you can copy and use it as you see fit. If the link doesn't work, say you're messing around with this and you try it, it doesn't work, it doesn't break your site. It just means that link won't work. And if that happened, just come back here, leave a comment down below, and we'll try to figure it out. But as far as mail to links go, this is what you can do with them. It's quite a lot. And like I said earlier, the most basic form is just this. If you just want mail to to create a new email with an email address in the to field, this is all you use right here. If you want to be more advanced, you can use something that looks like this. And one last thing, the link we created just says email me. You could have this also be an email address. This can be any text that you want it to be. And to change this text, you're gonna delete it and then re-add the mail to link to it. Or you can go into the text tab here and we see all of our mail to information here. This is all HTML tags. And we see the closing tag right there. We have the text email me. We can just replace this with the email address like that. And now the email address is clickable and that will open the new email. If you don't want to try to decipher your HTML in here, you can just delete it and then type your email address in here, highlight it and click a link, or over here, highlight it and click the link icon, add your mail to, and now it's the same thing. A Couple more steps, but at least you don't have to deal with the HTML over here in the HTML tab. This Elementor video is part of my Elementor skills playlist where we cover lots of the basics in Elementor to help you get up and running with Elementor as fast as possible. If you wanna check out that playlist, it's a link to in the description down below and probably in a card up above somewhere during this video. So check out that playlist if you wanna level up your Elementor skills. And if you don't have Elementor Pro yet, click the link in the description down below to get yourself a copy. It is an affiliate link, so if you buy through that link, I do get a commission, and it does not make it more expensive for you. It's just that Elementor shares that referral income with me, and that's what helps me keep making these videos for free and putting them up on YouTube so you can get better at WordPress and Elementor. So if you buy through that link down below, I really appreciate it. And next up, check out the Elementor Skills playlist right here, which I referenced throughout this video. If you watch those videos, your elementary skills will be increased. So if you want to get better, watch that playlist. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.